In this video, I would like to explain to you what persistent options are when you create in a persistent USB drive. And I'm going to show it on the MX Linux example. I will explain what different persistent options are so you can choose the one that fits for you. We're going to quickly go through all different options. So let's get started. OK, go ahead and insert the USB drive with the flash MX Linux on it. Power on the computer. If you want to enable persistence on this USB drive, you need to go to the advanced options, then go to persistence option. And here you can choose a few different options. Let's quickly go through these options. Normally, the first option would fit for most users, persist all, which stores the root file system in RAM and the home directory on a persistent device. It's ideal for users who want a mix of speed, using RAM for system operations and persistent storage for user data. Then persist root means both root and home are stored in RAM. It is suitable for temporary sessions where changes to both system and user data are discarded after reboot. It is faster but no data are saved. Then persist static, the root and home are stored separately on a persistent device. It allows changes to both system files and user files to be saved. Then pstatic root combines root and home folder on a single persistent storage. It's useful for saving changes to both the system and user data in one location. Then persist home. In this mode, only the home directory is stored on a persistent device. The root is in RAM. It saves user data such as documents, settings, but discards system settings. The frugal modes are similar to persistence mode, but are designed for installations where the entire live system is copied to a device like a hard drive or USB stick instead of running directly from the ISO. As you can see, the frugal settings are pretty similar, so the key differences would be that the persist operates directly from the ISO loaded on the USB drive, it saves changes to a persistent storage if enabled, and frugal copies the live system entirely to a device for faster access, but requires more setup and can be more efficient than running directly from the ISO. I would just choose persist all and that should be good, after that, go to Save Options and choose GRUB Save Save Options and press Enter. Now if we go back to the menu and then go to Advanced Settings, as you can see, the Persist All is already saved. So we can go ahead and start using this live USB. 